Okay, again, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Introduction to Information Systems. Right now, our topic is about extending the organization along supply chain. So again, I'm Professor Mary Jane Polyoso, your OLC Online Learning Coordinator. So our learning outcomes, at the end of the lesson, you are expected to define and understand the terms supply chain, supply chain management, discuss the basic components of supply chain management, identify two major challenges in setting accurate inventory levels throughout the supply chain. Define the terms electronic data interchange, which is the EDI, extranet, and portal, and explain how each of these applications help support supply chain management. So what is supply chain? It refers to the flow of materials, information, money, and services from raw material suppliers, through factories and warehouses to the end customers. It is includes organizations and processes that create and deliver products, information, and series to end customers. And supply chain management, which is the SCM, the function of SCM is to improve the way a company finds the raw materials it needs to produce a product or service and deliver it to its customers. That is, supply chain management is the process of planning, organizing, organizing the various activities performed along the supply chain. So we have five basic components of supply chain management. First, plan. Second, source. Third, make. Fourth, deliver. And fifth, return. An example of this is the push model. Production processes begins with a forecast, which is more of an educated guess to predict customer needs The forecast into a mass production to a sales person to a happy customer. And then how about full model? Full model products are made to order after a customer order is placed. For a full model, products are made to order, right? Made to order after a customer order is placed. From a customer order to a factory to a customer. So the IS support for SEM. SEM stands for supply chain management. So the problems along the supply chain may include poor customer service poor quantity or quality product, high inventory costs, loss of revenues, and new technologies. So the possible solutions to supply chain problems, we have vertical integration, inventories, information sharing, inter-organizational information system, which is the IOS, and Electronic Data Interchange, which is the EDI. The benefits of EDI is minimize data entry errors, messages are more secure, reduce cycle time, and minimize paper. So the drawbacks of EDI is high initial cost to implement ongoing costs may be higher for virtual private networks. And then strategies for acquiring IT applications. First, 
buy an existing application off the shelf approach. Second, customize an existing applications can be costly. Third, list an application. Application service provider and software as a service. Fourth, use open source software. If developing by outsourcing from external contractors or organization, and seek developing an application in house. We have the traditional software development life cycle. So, this is uh, what we call uh, SDLC, the software development life cycle, the traditional systems development method that organizations use for large scale IT projects. So, steps within the SDLC is a step by step. First, systems investigation. Second, systems analysis. Third, system design. Fourth, programming and testing. Fifth, implementation. Sixth, operation and maintenance. So those are the steps, the traditional steps within the SDLC. The major advantages, we have control, accountability, and error detection. The major drawbacks, we have the relatively inflexible, time-consuming, and expensive discourages changes once user requirements are done. 